Every once in a while, a tragedy captivates the public and leads, leaves our policymakers with a decision to create a special system to deal with claims. It happens extremely rarely, and that should be rare. These programs that I've mentioned today are a precedent for nothing. They are not the wave of the future. They are not a glimpse of tomorrow. They are not a free preview of massive changes in the way we compensate people. They are better viewed from the Department of History rather than a law school. They are um, one-off responses to horrible tragedies that result in political momentum to create special programs. I'm asked all the time, gee, Ken, do you think that as a result of BP's program, pharmaceutical companies will want to set up a program like that? Or other oil spill companies will want to set up a program like that? Or a chemical industry may want to set up a program? I doubt that very, very much. You tell me the last time you can think of where a company immediately after a tragedy stands up and says, before there's any litigation at all, here's 20 billion, pay it out. It's unique. It's unique. You tell me the last time Congress ever enacted a statute that said, we hereby create a special taxpayer-funded program to compensate victims of a tragedy. Tax-free, totally the taxpayer's money. Unprecedented. Talk about generosity. Two million dollars tax-free per claim? There is no precedent for it. And I think it highly unlikely there will be again. I didn't see any 9-11 fund for the victims of Oklahoma City. Where was the 9-11 fund for the victims of Katrina? There was no 9-11 fund. Mr. Feinberg, I want to ask you a question. I lost my husband in the basement of the World Trade Center in the original 1993 attacks committed by the very same people. Where's my check? Mr. Feinberg, you have said you're going to set my pay as the chief financial officer of one of these seven companies. How dare you? Why are you setting my pay? What about the CFO of the 400 plus other companies that aren't, that also got top money? Why are you focusing on me? Why are you questioning my compensation? In fact, I'm one of the top 25 people at this company. What about the other 500 or 1,000 or 10,000? Why aren't you setting their pay? Why are you picking on me? And besides, what business is it of government to be fixing the salary of private corporate executives? Congress doing it doesn't make it right. Congress doing it may make it legal, may make it an obligation, but that doesn't mean it's sound public policy. Now in each one of these discreet assignments. After you, get th after you look at the program from 30,000 feet, you know, why are we doing it? What's the objective? What does Congress want? What does the president expect? What is BP willing to do? Then you got to put on your law hat 
And you've got to design and administer these programs. And in every one of these programs, problems, unique problems arise. Every one of them has a different program. They are, they are standalone. You can't solve the problems of one by looking at what you did with another. The problems are different. 